Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be drawing a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. I used to have one of these dogs. Actually, my parents have one right now. Alright, let's get started with the head of the dog. So I'm just drawing my ovals, uh, just to get a rough sketch of where everything is. And remember, I always draw light because it's a good habit, just in case if I need to erase later on, which I will. So that's why you guys probably can't see it just so much. So I did color correct this video, so it should be as white as the paper when it comes to white correction. Um, so right now, I'm just doing the eyes. I did the ears, the shape of the ears, the nose just now. And then I'm trying to give the shape of his snout correctly. The bottom jaw. You can see whenever I'm being more confident with my lines, I press harder with the pencil. And you guys should too. Always try to practice drawing lightly so it's easier to erase later on down the line. So I'm still drawing the head. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. I don't want to speed up this part at all because I feel the penciling is the most important part of the drawing before we get on to inking and uh, coloring it later on. So right now I'm just doing nice, not so detailed feet. So I don't need to draw the paws on the bottom. It's going to be nice straight down, kind of like <laughs> table legs almost. Um, has a nice furry uh, front. Um, okay, gonna add some fur to the back, to the front foot. There we go. It's gonna be really high stomach, leading on to the back foot, and the back foot's gonna be the exact same as the two front feet. Okay, gonna bring it up. There we go. And here's the back foot going underneath the body, underneath the stomach, so you guys can't see that. Followed by his hind quarters and his tail. A lot of people mess up on adding too much detail to the tail, and you just need to like swoop it down and bring it back up. So there we go. Alright, I'm gonna add some more fine detail to the head by adding some more waves onto the actual ears I drew. When I drew the ears, I just did kind of like uh, block shapes. Any more shape to the head. There we go. I'm gonna add those curves again to the other ear that's behind the head as well. There we go. Let me just erase a portion of this face over here because um, I want to redo it. Okay, let me just redo this face a little bit. See, it was easy to erase. Okay, let me just finish this ear, put it down a little bit further, and then I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see um, what I'm doing later on. It's not really that important right now. But right now, I'm just trying to get the shape of where the colors are going to go. So the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has kind of like a white tone and then has like these bright tones but depending on what type of dog uh, you're trying to go for because Cavalier King Charles Spaniels come in uh, two or three variants of colors so you want to make sure you do it uh, the way that you want to so right now I changed the snout a little bit along with the opening of the bottom portion of where his mouth begins and ends okay a little more stout so it's a little more cuter it looks more of a, like a smile. Okay, I'm gonna do the highlights in the eyes. There we go. I'm gonna do the other eye as well. So at this point, I might I'm gonna zoom in right now actually, so you guys can see a little more of the detail. And I'm erasing just so I can get ready for some inking. But let me just fix this eye real quick so I know which way I'm going. I'm gonna face it inward so it looks like he's looking up. Okay, so now I'm ready to get some brown on the outside because there's no white. Kind of like how we have on that part of the eye. Okay, the rest is gonna be black. I'm gonna make sure I create those highlights again. There you go. One eye is done. Followed by the other eye, and I'm adding some indents in the corners of the eyes, going towards the nose. Can okay, do the highlight in the nose. There you go. I'm gonna add some inking around the mouth, and then the rest of the head. There you go. Okay, fixing the eye a little bit more. Give it some more shape so it's not so ovally. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my kneaded eraser and erase some of that detail that I don't need. Just to clean it up before I move on to coloring a little more. So here we go, here's the color I was talking about I was gonna use for my Cavalier King Charles. Okay, it's gonna kinda like a sienna tone, kinda like a light brown almost. And there's a color I chose. Now, these are the Copic channel markers. It's supposed to be skin tone, but it's a perfect color for this dog. 
So I'm trying to be careful not touching the black too much because it's not quite dry yet, so it doesn't ruin my marker. And I'm gonna erase some of this bottom portion and redo it with the marker so it's nice and clean. There you go. First is the rest of the ear, and then I can go to the back of his body for some spot patterns. There we go. And a second spot a little bit further back. There you go. And I think the rest is just going to be a white along with some gray shading, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. So I'm just finish off the ears, and then I'll show you guys this fur that I did. So now it's really easy to see the drawing now because I'm just going back over it with a uh, black pe uh, pen, black brush pen actually. There we go. And that's basically how I draw it so far. So right now let's add some more detail, adding some shadows with some. Uh, Copic grays, but let me just erase some of that detail so it's nice and clean. There you go, cleaning up the drawing a little bit. Remember, kneaded erasers are always reusable, that's why I love them, because you can just uh, mold them until they're brand new again. So I'm gonna take some grays, I'm gonna take a lightest gray so far, add some spots, there we go. And then kind of shadow underneath the chin. Then definitely some shadows on those back legs that you guys can't see. There you go behind the tail, and then I'm going to add another gray, so there's a darker gray, on the same parts, just a little bit further back, just like that, and just more spots, and then I'm basically done guys, that's basically it, slowing down a little bit, and I'm going to put away my supplies right about now. So here are the supplies I used, if you guys are wondering, uh, it didn't take much uh, to complete this drawing. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I'm just going to give a quick screenshot for the thumbnail, and that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to do more dog videos. And if you guys want to see more, here are some more videos over here on this page. Just click it, and you will be directed to those videos. And as always, have a good one. Hope to see you guys in the next video.